Hey guys, it's Bella. Welcome to Beauty on a Budget. And it is slightly different. I'm in my front bedroom today. Um, I did leave a little message, a little video, and thank you for all your good wishes and um, for wishing me better. And it's just a thing, you know, guys, any of you know about the, how fibro works. You have a flare up and you're pretty much out of it. It's, quite flu-like symptoms and you feel very weak and um, you're not, you feel very, very, very lethargic. It's very painful. It can be very, very painful all over. Um, but I suppose I've had it a long while now and I run with it, but it's quite difficult to work out filming and timing and um, I've all the mistake I've made with it. I think over over the years is I've always done more than I should. I've always I, there is a warning bell. There is a bell where it says you know you can't do no more to finish. Um, just take a couple of days break, and I push it till you know I've always done that, and uh, that I'm afraid is is my downfall with it. Um, but it's it's just been a really lousy week. <laughs> Do you lousy weeks? Um, I hadn't felt great, as I said. I thought, okay, well, I'll slow down for a little bit, you know. Um, not that I'm sort of speedy Gonzales, even when I'm all right. But um, I thought I'd just slow down a bit and watch my timing, you know. And I was at the sink. Now, I've always hated my teeth. I've got horrible teeth. My youngest daughter's got my teeth. My oldest daughter's got wonderful teeth. But my youngest daughter's like me. And it's nothing to do with our diet. We take all the vitamins. We eat all the right foods. But ever since I was young, ever since I was young, my teeth have always been weak. I've always had to go to the dentist a lot. Um, I've always had to have crowns and bridges and... Billions. I never go to the dentist when they say you don't need something. And I look after my teeth so much. I floss them all the time and I brush them twice a day. But sometimes people's teeth are just weak. That's all there is to it. And that's apparently what the dentist said is wrong with me and Rebecca. You know, they're just weak. So I thought, I've been thinking about this for a while, because as I've got older, particularly as I'm making videos, my front teeth have really upset me. They've upset me a lot, you know, um, to what they look like. And I can do everything I can with sort of my makeup and my hair and everything, but it's just those, those front teeth that have really upset me a lot. But anyway, my plan was, before all this COVID, I was going to um, try and save up and get the veneers. Because it, it means a lot to me with my film and it means a lot to me in my you know, my my confidence as well because you know you know I struggle with confidence an awful lot and I think if I had, you know I'm not saying they'll be the perfect, but I think it'll make things um my overall appearance a lot better because I think a smile says a lot, doesn't it? So meanwhile, they are very, very broken, very weak. And I try to, when I'm going to film, I try to make white as I can. And I can't because I just had it. But because of COVID, you can't get into the dentist. The dentist has been closed. Now, you can get into a dentist now. They are open. Normally, have a lot of people in the waiting room. One in, one out. One into that dentist, passing the one coming out of that dentist, you know. Because it's group practice. Um... Now you can only be one person in the practice and that person has got to be out and pass before they let the next person in. Now I get that, of course I get that. It's, you know, it's only right with what's been going on here in England. It's been terrible. Um, I get that. But of course it makes it quite difficult to get into a dentist. I want to talk to the dentist about veneers. I'm pretty sure that's something that I'd have to pay a lot for, but... You know, maybe there's some sort of plans or something, a plan I could go on. But I know I need it. I need it for myself. Um. Anyway, I thought, yes, I must get into the dentist. But, lo and behold, and now this, oh, I don't know. I saw it quicker than I thought I would. So, I'm leaning on my, um, my cabinet. So, imagine this is my worktop in my kitchen. 
and it, I'm quite weak. You know, you see me use, I use melamine plates and cups and so forth. If I'm having, you know, a downturn, I'm having a, an attack of it, um, uh, then I'll go onto these plastic things because of the weakness. And um, it's not money. I'm not moaning about it because they're quite a nice place. But that I do that, you know. Anyway, I still had the plastic plate. It, it's men of mine. You would never know it if you look at it. I haven't got one here, but you'd never know that it wasn't a proper plate, you know. Um, and I'm leaning on my, my kitchen cabinet by my TV, because the TV's on the work surface. And I've got my elbow like this, and I've got a cup like this, which is an ordinary cup, because I was downstairs, I wasn't carrying it anywhere. I was in the kitchen, over the work surface. Nothing could, you know, be all right. And my elbow tripped like this and the cup pushed into my mouth and broke all my <laughs> all my front teeth so all my front teeth were all cracked um because they were so weak anyway you know they're so full of filling and and porcelain and you know they're just so weak anyway so they were gonna anyway they all snapped and broke so for now, because veneers would cost a lot of money and I'd have to pay the dentist off, I've got a temporary veneer and I don't like it at all. Can you see? Different colours to my tooth. I don't like it. But I don't talk showing a lot of my teeth anyway. Um, and I don't like the whiteness of them. I don't even want to show you them. I don't like the whiteness because I think it's utterly false. Um, and the perfect, t I've never been one for that perfect Hollywood smile. I know it's, I know it's very, very popular, but I, I don't like it. I think it's, um, I like more of a natural smile, you know, more natural. Um, and that's what I hope to have done. But obviously it will take payments and, um, although we've got the NHS over here, which are great, which will, which pay for the initial treatment. Um, and I'm so grateful for that. You, I would never expect in a million years for them to to cover cosmetic work. Why should they, you know? Especially what they've had to pay out recently and it's a terrible burden on the NHS. Um, no, I would never expect that. Um, so I'm hoping there'll be, well, apparently there is some sort of payoff scheme I can do, but it's just getting in. It's getting into each appointment until sort of, you know we're, we're completely back to normal so for now i've got these which have to be refitted every now and again i don't like them at all but it's either this or i won't be able to make videos because they were just they're just so broken my whole mouth is just broken underneath so for now um it it's just these i don't like them i'm not pleased with them but it's either this or me not make videos so Honestly, it's like, you know when you get one of those weeks and you're not well, you don't feel well. I got the jab, which I was really pleased with. Um, and, and my arm hurt. My arm hurt, I've got to say. My arm hurt a little bit after the jab. And I felt a little bit, on about the fourth day. Um, and because it, it was hard to sort of tell because I've got in, in a, fibre, a bit of a fibre attack. I... It's hard to tell because you feel pretty flu-like anyway, you know? Um, but the fourth day, I noticed I felt a little bit nauseous, which isn't something I normally feel. Um, but it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to be sick, you know, that kind of thing. It was just that little bit, oh, I feel a bit nauseous, don't want nothing to eat, I feel a, you, that kind of thing. And um, that was like for one evening, about four days after I had the vaccine. But apart from that, there's been nothing I've, I've felt. And bears, we've both felt really well. Um, we're getting our second one at the end of May. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to getting that. And I'm looking forward to, hopefully by this time next year, I will have teeth that I don't look like I'm breaking in for somebody else. Oh, honestly. <laughs> I've never smiled, because of my mouth, like, because of where my teeth are, I never smile a lot. I don't show my teeth a lot. Um, and 
I've got such funny teeth. My my bite, my bottom teeth come over my front teeth anyway. Um, I just always had horrible teeth. But I just want, I don't want perfect. I just want to, you know, so that it, a little bit better about myself and it will it will get done but i said because of finances and because of the way the nhs is at the moment i mean i could go to a private place and have it done um but that would cost thousands and i really haven't got thousands um this was just temporary but um i mean i can have better temporary or she'll put on better my dentist is lovely but um yeah, it's it's just for now and until uh you know I can get sorted out with um permanent veneers. Um so that's the story of my week. <laughs> what the video I wanted to do the, the coming up is um I want to do one now I haven't done it this year of the YouTubers that I would suggest. You know, especially during the lockdown, I've I've got to know new YouTubers and, you know, there's some lovely, lovely people that do this. Absolutely cracking people that are so giving and so refreshing to watch, you know. There, there really is. And I think a lot of us have learnt a lot of things because of lockdown, haven't we? You know, we've all... Um, different things have happened and I suppose we've rethought a lot of things and, and the people I've, I've looked at people and watched you probably people I wouldn't have searched for had this not happened you know um but there's some lovely people and people that really don't get a lot of recognition and really need to be to be watched because they're so you know they give so much to YouTube and they they give so much of their time and they're so willing to sort of help and give in of themselves. I mean, they might not all have the latest equipment or, you know, be supermodels, but they give of themselves and they do it for other people. And I just love that. I just love that. So I'm going to make a video with some of the new people. I, I couldn't make it with five videos if I said everybody, but... um. I'm going to make a video um, with some of the, the some of the YouTubers that I've discovered in the last year, and that I've been so grateful for for discovering that I that have really brought joy to my life. And also, I wanted to share make a video is I have, and I will make this video. You know, I find it really hard. I think high street makeup now um, is. A lot of it, a lot of it is on par with high end. A lot of it is. I mean, you will still get the people. Um, oh, no, I can, you know, I, I'm high end only. Um, but if you know where to look and you know how to apply, there's some really good stuff in the, the high street now, drugstore, makeup wise. Um, Skin care, there is as well. It's just a little harder to find, particularly if you've got very sensitive skin, and I've got a very, very sensitive skin. So I've used the same for ages and ages. You know, I, I go through the ordinary serums. I use uh, Balance Active, um, I, different ones that I use. So I thought, well, maybe I can broaden that. I know I will stick to them because I know I'm, I'm a monkey for trying something and not wanting it. <laughs> but I've still got to try. I want to try for you as well. Because, you know, budgeting skincare can be quite hard. I would never change anything. The, the cream that I use, the permanent night cream that I use, which is the Lacura one, is a fantastic moisturiser and I, I wouldn't want to change that at all. The one that I get from Aldi. But I've, I'm looking at different serums. Now, I've always used Balance Active for um, hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. Now, the vitamin C isn't very high um, 
I call it the high numbers, but um, the percentage of vitamin C isn't particularly high. You need about 20, 25. Um, but nevertheless, it works. You know my trick. Look in the mirror. If it looks good, if it it will tell you if it's working. The mirror. And it always has done for me. And it's always, uh, you know, it's improved my skin over the years. It definitely has. Hyaluronic acid I like very, very much. Um, if I don't get Balance Actives, I get the Ordinaries. And I love the majority of Ordinary products, as you know. Um, they also do a collagen one that I've used. Um, but they have just bought out a niacinamide. Um, I've just purchased this. I want to share this with you. All the contents and everything that's in it. And I will, I'll do that in a later video. But when I saw that, I thought, well, I've always liked the Balance Active. I wonder how, I haven't even read the instructions. I haven't read the contents or anything yet. I'll do that with you. But I thought that was good. The next one I tried, which is also a company that I've always liked, is the Argan Oil that I normally use on, uh, one of the oils that I use on my face is Argan Oil, particularly if it's very dry. Um, I've had this one, but not for many, many years. Um, and it's the, the original Argan Oil company. I've had their shampoos. I love their body butter. Um, and I love their shower gels. And I always use, you see me use all the time, the heat defense. When I, when I use tools for my hair, I use the heat defense. Well, this is the facial oil. Um, it's, I love the glass bottle. It's really nice, a nice glass bottle. That is the facial oil. I'll show, share this with you and look at all the different ingredients that are in it. So that's another one. Then I got, um, this is a Bio Glow, and I've always liked Bio. Um, I've used a lot of their, um, their body lotions and also their exfoliators because you know when I exfoliate your legs in the summer before you tan them I've used that for, for quite a while um, so this is the same people make bio oil um, which is obviously the, the really famous but this is um, the Q10 and it's a multi-purpose serum so we're still looking at the serums again I haven't even looked at these guys. I've not even opened them or looked at them. I just sent for four new serums. And this one, oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? You know, pump like that. That's uh, one and a half ounces, 45. So that's, that's a bit bigger than the normal one. We'll see how it goes. I'll read the instructions and everything, but not today. And then the last thing is Simple. Now, Simple Soap something that's been out for years and years, hasn't it? I'm sure you, um, we all used that as kids, didn't we? Um, so this is just the Simple. And this is a multi-purpose oil as well. Which I thought I would try. So that's a, a multi-purpose facial oil. Um, I don't quite see how much is in that. But we'll have a go at that and I'll share with you what I think and so forth. So we'll, we'll have a serum video. Because <laughs> I love my serums. Okay, so it was just chatty today, really. I wanted to sort of tell you that I'm okay. Uh, thank you for your lovely get well messages. Um, I'm okay. I stay upstairs quite a lot if I'm a bit wobbly. And I'm a bit wobbly in my ways one at the minute. Um, but I stay upstairs a lot because I haven't got a downstairs toilet. So um, it's up and down. I have to go up and down quite a lot of stairs to to get to my bathroom so if i'm not so good i'll stay in one of the rooms upstairs um you know sit and watch the telly there and youtube and keep quiet out the way and not moan <laughs> so thank you for watching guys thank you for your support and please if i'm so sorry you got to put up with these teeth and i just don't like them they're just not me 
They are not me at all. Nope. But anyway, you can't see so much of them, can you, when I'm talking? You, like, most of my bobbin teeth, and they're completely different colour. It's, oh, the cup just went, oh, I can't believe it. And it was an ugly cup as well. I'm sure it would have happened even if it was the melamine one. But just a moment like that, and looking at the teddy like that, and just going to take a sip, and my elbow went, well, it went that way, and the cup went back. Oh. Only me, guys. Only me. And the teeth went everywhere. It was like something out of a film. <laughs> Good job. I can laugh about it. Okay, so you'll have to put up with me like this for a little while, otherwise I'd have to take a couple of months off of YouTube. And I really don't want to take a couple of months off of YouTube. Um, it's not the time it's my, been my sanity during this, this epidemic. So I hope you're all well. I hope you're doing fine. Certainly us in the UK, we're getting there, aren't we? 50% of us have had the vaccine now, so you know it's... We're doing, we're, we're getting there. There's light at the end of that tunnel. Might be a little bit light, but there's light there. So um, I shall see you all next week. Thank you so much for being here for me. Thank you so much. You take care now. Bye. <laughs>